Hey guys, Akabosha here. Um, this is my first Let's Play ever, and I've never done game commentary before, so please bear with me, as I don't really know what to say while playing this, because naturally I'm a quiet gamer. So, I've played this game before in the past, it's really good, I have it on 3DS also, I've already beaten it, completed every single thing on there, except for the challenges, that's all. Um, so, <clears throat> I've already cleared my data here, as you can see, so we're going to start a completely new game, and hope you guys enjoy. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So, they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. And there you guys have it. That was the beginning of the story. <laughs> okay. So, cool thing about this game, for those of you who don't know, is uh, basically the main mechanic to it is that you type in stuff, you could, just, you could basically summon anything you want to, uh, almost anything, and uh, you can write in adjectives to alter the way something behaves or, it lo or looks, basically. So here is Ernest Starwright by helping Edwin with his award-winning pick. Turn the run of the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Hmm. 
what would be the best cleaning tool to get mud off of him? Um, a tiny toothbrush. That is the best tool. Okay, I guess just toothbrush. I forget that you can't use adjectives in the tutorial. Okay. Pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig's size. Alright. Alright. We'll make him colossal. Oh, oops. <clears throat> there we go. Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Okay. Hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Okay. I need wings large enough to help me to fly. Alright. And we'll give him gigantic dragon wings. Magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Alright. The wings from the magic backpack. Drag these to the lower right. And there we go. And now we have a flying dragon pig. Best voice acting ever. Somehow, the guinea pig wins second place. Because guinea pigs are pigs too. So yeah, that's basically what you do for every single thing you do in this game. Every uh, problem you solve ends with you getting a, that star right there that I just picked up. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Help the sprout to grow. Ja no, we can't use adjectives yet. Or we could use adjectives for the pig, but not for other things yet. Oh. Rain cloud. And now it's a man-eating plant. Who's the genius that made this thing? Did no one read? Did no one read the package? It's like, oh, this is just carrot plant. He's like, no, it's man-eating flower, you idiot. Okay. Plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Set the level. All right. Yep. So when you get when you screw up and like if you need to get something from someone, but then you accidentally kill them, and then you can't get the star right from the uh, star right shard from them, uh, you just reset the level. Right. Okay. My kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. Okay, I will use the most conventional way of getting a cat with a lasso. There you go. Oh. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. So yeah. That was the tutorial, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I kind of, I'm, I'm thinking of just uploading on a whenever I feel like it basis. So, I don't really have a set schedule for this. Um, this is just a test video to see what you guys think and what I can do to make it better. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave in the comments below if you liked it or not and what I could do to make it better and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video whenever it comes out uh bye